hey, hey! Welcome to Roots Gourmet Kitchen. Today, guys, I'm going to make for you chicken chow mein. For this recipe, I need bell peppers, fresh chopped garlic, which I have three cloves, one and a half onion, four chicken breasts I have that's already cooked and diced, my favorite cilantro, two green onions chopped, quarter teaspoon of sea salt, one and a half teaspoons of ginger, and not last but not least, one teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. The trimming I'm gonna to make today, I used the Cantonese style but you can use any noodles that you feel comfortable with or your choice. Also, I'm going to use fresh broccoli in here. And I'm going to use some mixed vegetables, some sesame seed oil, some oyster sauce, and some soy sauce. Guys, let's get cooking. We're going to go right to the stove because I already have my stove preheating. And we're just going to get right in there and start getting things done. First we are going to put some sesame seed oil into my pot which is already preheated. And then we're going to start sauteing these vegetables. We're going to start with the onions. The garlic, fresh chopped garlic. We are going to saute these till the sugar start being extracted from the onions. We are going to put in the ginger in there. I'm going to saute it a bit. If you think you need more oil, you can always put in a little more. It's healthy sesame seed oil, so that's okay. Now we are just going to saute this. We are going to throw the vegetables in here and saute it all together. bell pepper look and you can turn your stove up a little higher and you can turn it back down when it's almost cooked and we don't want to cook them too much we want to have that crunch when we're eating our noodles so we're just saute 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 I'm going to throw my broccoli in here so it can be cooked evenly as we go along with the vegetables You put all spice and the salt. Folks, if you think quarter spoon salt is not enough for you, you can put in whatever is good for you, but I don't recommend it because you don't want to put in too much salt in your body. But I want to cook it more than halfway through before I throw the noodles in there and the chicken.
And folks, you could do whatever. Vegetables they want. You could do bok choy. Any cauliflower. Whatever you feel you like. If you're a vegetarian, you don't have to use meat. This is a chicken chow mein. But you can also do a vegetarian or a vegan chow mein. For the vegan, you can use um, vegetables and um, you can um, uh, use vegetables and vegan stuff, you know? But uh, for the, if you're a vegetarian, you can use vegetables instead of putting meat. So today we're just going to do the chicken burger. Then throw some green onions in there. Okay, so the in there. And a little bit of cilantro. Because you know you're cooking and there's no cilantro, you're not cooking. Cilantro is the best thing that was invented. Look how pretty this looks. I wish I could have turned this off a little higher to get it going, but I can't. I just have to wait till it's done. I am going to put in this vegetables here some soy sauce and some oyster sauce. And that's where we're going to get our flavors from. I'm not going to put much um, soy sauce, just about two teaspoons. I'm going to do the quick stir again. And don't be afraid to taste along the way, folks, to see if you have enough salt in there. But I think I do have enough salt. Come on. It's just going to enhance all the flavors in there. Let it sit for a second. We're going to put the chicken in last. I'm going to put the noodles in and then put the rest of my cilantro in there. And then we're going to put the chicken last to finish it up. It's almost done. I'm just going to put in my noodles in there and stir. For the first half, and you just stir that up. And you could just use this and just make sure it's distributed evenly. Stole a little bit now as we come to the almost to the end. I'm gonna put in the other half of the noodle in there. I'm just gonna 
stir this along. Doesn't this look pretty, folks? Look at that. Now we are going to throw in our chicken in here. Gonna put our chicken in here now. Make sure you get all the all the food, just stir it like this so you can get it all between. And at this point you put a little more sauce in here just to give it a little more flavor. I think it's a little wetter than it's a little dry so you can put in a little more moisture. We're going to throw in the rest of our green onions in there. How are we going to start this up? And folks, you see, it's easy to make a dish. Some red peppers, some broccoli, some noodles, some leftover chicken. And you don't have to use shrimp, you can use pork, whatever, shrimps. Look at this, folks. Easy, very, very easy. And there we have our chicken chow mein. I'm going to taste and see if there's enough salt. Mmm, very nice. Oh, very nice. Very, very tasty. So this is finished, folks. See how easy that was. I'm just gonna plate one so you can see. Just gonna grab a plate. So here we are. Dinner is finally done. Folks, look at this. I'm going to do the test to let you guys know how this tastes. What's better to have on a Sunday evening? Chinese chow mein with a glass of red wine. To you guys, my viewers, please try this dish at home. Send me a pic so I know you guys are actually doing these. And if you guys really like what you've guys seen today, please give a thumbs up. Leave some sort of comment in my inbox and do not forget to subscribe. And don't forget to press the red notification button on the side of the subscription. That will send you every video that will be made by Root Gourmet Kitchen. Cheers to you guys. Have a wonderful Sunday evening. I definitely will be having a great Sunday evening because I'll be enjoying this. Take care.